Hi, welcome to Sostub number 41. My name is Lina and I live in Salford in the UK. On my channel, usually I talk about cross stitch, sometimes knitting and crochet, and who knows, probably another craft that meanwhile I will try it. So if you are new, Thank you so much for being here and to give this video and this channel a chance. And if you are one of my regular viewers, thank you. Thank you so much. I really, really appreciate it for you to be here with me. So let's start. One of the projects that I did, it was this one or it is I don't know it was this one uh, by the ring Jones it's called um, two happy dogs I wanted to touch this one but I only touch this one um, I started this for mania um, 2020 and if I have a picture, I will show it here. So it is the before. And this is the now. So I did a total of 131 stitches. I'm do using 16 count white Ada using threads from stash so it's not what it is called for and i'm doing two over one full cross and i have some partial stitches there so i already started the dog uh, i did this bit i needed to change this i frog it because it wasn't in the center or it wasn't where it should be I it was this bit it was one stitch that way I think so this wasn't line but I didn't count it I redo it so I frog it did it and only started when I start I uh, started filling the only problem with this project is I know what color it is and it is from Angkor but I don't know where I put it so I'm doing the dogs until I found out I find where I put the other colors the purples and that's it so if I have the other picture you can now compare the before and the now <coughs> so the other one is retrievers by channeling this one and i'm using everything that came in the kit and uh, the Ada is 14 count Ada in beige or cream and this is what you saw last time and let me show this and this is where I am now so I'm working on this bit and i did a total of 106 stitches so usually what appears on my videos is at least uh, projects with uh, 100 stitches otherwise uh, if it is black work like my peppermint purple soul only when one block is done I will show it so if you can hear any noises sorry about that uh, it is 
six past six and it is 16th of November everybody is at home so sorry about that and if you can hear any noises sorry about that too so I'm working on this and I'm filling the the spaces between okay so as sorry uh, I was saying I'm working on oh sorry you are <laughs> shaking um I'm trying to fill these spaces here this little space it is the space between the ear and um, his head and if I'm not mistaken it will be open so I did 106 stitches uh, I already said that so I'm using everything that came in the kit and it is uh, DMC uh, threads and doing 2 over 1 and now you can compare the before and the now The other project that, oh, uh, one thing that I forgot to tell. This uh, project is on my Wipco board, um, if I'm not mistaken, twice. The first time that um, Jessie Marie pulled the numbers, I, I accomplished the goal. But this time, because it is a lot more hours, it is the last time that I do with hours. In with stitches seem seems really quicker instead of hours, but never mind. It is with hours. I still need to do eight more hours, more or less. So I need to accomplish that. The other one that I touched was my Halloween time uh, by which is stitcher it is this oh <coughs> pardon it is this one and uh, this came on just cross stitch October 2021 20, and I used the app that I had Ridley and um I printed what I wanted to do. So I'm using lean from Amazon. Uh, so it is the count when you count the count like this is different when you count vertically. So that's why mine instead of being so um, Uh, sorry so circular so this one is more oval and mine <laughs> is more oh sorry this is what you saw last time and I did 136 stitches worked 2 over 2 using threads from stash and it is full cross so this is what I have now and when I was doing the this column here I noticed that the moon is too near here the the column so I need to check if I counted this bit right or if the moon that it is here, even in the picture, you can see it. So let me see. I think now you can see that something there. Uh, probably I counted mine. Probably I counted mine wrong. Of course I did, but I think it is. 
I need to count to put the moon a little bit on this side so probably next time that you are going to see this uh, I won't count the moon for my my stitches but probably it will be frogged and restarted this little bit so hopefully next time you see it with another 100 stitches at least it will be probably the cut started or I'm going to continue doing this and that's it so now you can compare the before and the now and the last project that I worked was um, my linen and thread sal 2021 it is an in inspired uh, it is called Talavera and it is inspired uh, by Mexican and Spanish uh, pottery traditional one so um, I did Oh, it is work. I worked on 28 count Brittany Lugana even weave on ivory one over one. And this is what you saw last time. And this is where I am now. So you can see I put it 136 stitches. So I did, I finished this bit and this, this this block if you can call it and I put some blue in there so I had everything in yellow and I only put five crosses in blue on top uh, I still don't know if I like it um, so if I don't like it probably I will because on this one when I do it I will do the yellow and put the blue on this one I, I only wanted to see how it looked like how would look like so I still need to think what I'm going to do with the yellow that's why I'm doing the blue first and then I will think what I'm going to do and now you can compare the before and the now so now uh, I finished oh I didn't finish I'm doing the peppermint purple sal and the week 37 I don't know what's happening it is really really hard for me I already restarted five to seven times probably is the color is not helping uh, or I don't know I think that now I'm getting there and next week hopefully you will see at least week 37 done um, before everything sorry about the messy hair I washed it today and it's still drying I don't have makeup any makeup only put it a lip a lip gloss uh, nothing else and let's start so I had a little bit of hole I didn't bought anything it was a lady who bought some things from me for me uh, from a charity shop and another lady gave me one thing that she had at home so uh, Christina gave me this little one it is uh, you can use it to do in a card and says Merry Christmas uh, so I don't know what I'm going to do I it is everything there it comes with uh, a little bit of Ada this came with uh, a magazine I don't know which one she gave me this 
and I still didn't open but I think it has the the floss it, it has the floss there it has a needle either so I still need to check and soup I uh, bought this from um, a charity shop and it is a lovely bear seems like a polar bear and says over the moon so it is really nice I think it has half stitches and full cross I just need to see and the dimensions is 20 centimeters per 20 centimeters it says that it is moderated so the difficulty is moderate and that's it it is really cute has everything has the ada the i think has a needle and the um, pattern so then had a lot more things this only comes with the um, with the the, um, the plastic canvas and the pattern doesn't have any floss or wool to do i think this one is to you can do it with wool and i will show in a minute what kind of wool i'm talking about then another thing it is for a card and it will be this one you can do whatever you want so this came from the world of cross stitching and has everything there i am not sure if it has the the needle yeah it does uh, 14 count aiden needle um and lay and the cotton the other thing that she gave me is this kit and if i'm not mistaken yeah this one is stamped stamped and it is the cut and oil painting it's called doesn't say anything else um i still need to check and it is this one and last thing that a lady gave me so uh, she came to the club and asked if anyone wanted this <laughs> So comes the oh wow one thing that I didn't notice is that with the frame comes the wool needles I need to check if these needles are okay and this is I think it is a Yorkshire Terrier so came with everything okay um, and she asked if anybody wanted and I said yes for me please <laughs> and what I was, talk was talking about the wool is this one so it is from Anchor for tapisserie. Yeah, wool. This one, I have different brands in the summer house where I have my things. And I just need to see if I have everything that I need. That's it. 
and I'm only going to talk about plants. So I want to do at least at least to finish my uh, peppermint purple sal week 37 the purple sal uh, 2021 i want to finish at least week 37 and if i can to do at least more two weeks because i was behind and now i'm more behind uh, i need to put at least 100 stitches on halloween time uh, happy dogs linen and threads 2021 and linen and threads 2020 i've not stitched on that one for a while and i need to do it because if i'm not mistaken she's on my whip go board and at least i i need to try to do something uh, and i need to do to put at least more 100 stitches on my retrievers and one thing that i need to start or restart is my i already put it there my dogs uh charted by me me mystic stitch uh, the artwork is from howard robinson if i'm not mistaken it is not if i'm mistaken i will put here and so it is this one i will put a picture and something happened i don't know what and i couldn't find where i was on the pattern keeper probably i had a mistake and i couldn't find where it was in the pattern keeper and i tried to frog it and I start frogging what I shouldn't so I know that's enough when I open this I will show you where it is because it is in the corner on this side so it is already ready for me to restart and I'm preparing um, or kitting up what i want to start for christmas and what i want to start for new new year i still don't know what i'm going to do and but i'm kidding up kitty i'm i'm getting everything ready i'm putting the fabric and the the threads or the floss and that's it i hope you like it sorry i tried to be quick because i didn't have a lot to show uh it's all it's only to um, register what i did during this week or this past week and that's it i hope you like it and you'll come back uh, the last thing that i'm going to do as usual i'm going to teach you how to say one word in portuguese so i'm i've been teaching how to say the days of the week so the last day of the week is friday and in portuguese is sexta feira say it after me sexta feira and that's it i hope you come back like it subscribe and leave a, a comment down below and that's it Again, that's it. <laughs> See you. Bye. Take care.